Let's go. What's up guys, today I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of how I created a mock commercial for Salem and Shoes that you just watched. So first, this is not a paid project or sponsored post of any kind. I just really love Salem and Shoes and decided to test my skills at making a trendy shoe commercial at home on a budget. So my inspiration comes from a filmmaker in Amsterdam named Achein, who put out a really cool shoe commercial himself. I'll link it below, definitely go check it out, check him out, he puts out some really cool content. So huge shout out, Achein, for the inspiration, thanks man. So as for the shoe, both my fiance and I have the same style shoe from Salomon, the his and hers version. So I just took them off our feet and cleaned them up as best as I could to make them look brand new again and got them ready for the shots. Now obviously it would have been much better to have brand new pairs of shoes, but since we're all going through the same stay-at-home order due to the coronavirus, I just decided to use what I've got here at home. And that's really what filmmaking is all about, is using, it's not always about the expensive gear or having the most expensive gear, but using what you have to the best of your abilities. And that's exactly what I set out to do in this shoot. So without further ado, let's go to the behind the scenes and show you how I made this commercial. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, what's up guys? So we're in my dining room slash kitchen for the first scene that I have set up. I've got my shoe hanging from a fishing line and beneath it, I've got my aperture light lighting up the background. I've got a cheap softbox light acting as my key light. I've got a tripod over here for one of the static shots I'm gonna get. And I'm shooting on my GH4 with a Canon 50 millimeter lens with the Metabone speeded speed booster, and I'm shooting at 96 frames per second for slow motion. My shutter speed's at 200, and I'm gonna be shooting anywhere between f1.8 and f4.0, something like that. So the first shot is gonna be a static shot on the tripod, where I'm just gonna have it spinning. The second shot through fifth shot, I'm gonna get some handheld slow motion kind of B-roll shots of it, and then the third shot, I might use my gimbal um, to kind of get some push-ins and pull-outs at the end. And then after that, I'm gonna switch everything and I'm gonna use, do her shoe instead so I have a his and hers uh, thing going for the, the edit. So without further ado, let's get the shots. Awesome, okay, so I got the first shot. Now the next couple shots, I'm just gonna do some handheld B-roll. Kind of gonna be pushing in and pulling out with my body and doing some pans and kind of going up and in and doing some rack focus and just kind of play around and see what we get. So let's check it out. Oh, Diggies, you wanna be in the, you wanna be in? I think we got it, that's scene one. Let's go to scene two. I've got this black acrylic board that I'm gonna put on this little pedestal that I got over here that I set up. And I actually took, just from our microwave, I just took our little 
uh, spinny ring thingy. So I'm gonna put that underneath this so it spins and I'll put the shoe up center. I got our ring light on one side with a blue gel over it and then I've got my aperture light that I use and I use the actually the red gel from the ring light and I put it over the aperture light so I kind of have a blue and red thing going on and I used our black and white backdrop little pop-up backdrop as the background so let's get this set up and see what we can come up with <laughs> 